Hi, this is Ferdinand from Cube Training. Um, in this session, I'm going to explain to you how a glass breaker would work. Um, we're going to connect the glass breaker to a Texacom panel, and I'm going to show you how the wiring works and how to sort of configure a glass breaker. This is a Texacom uh, glass breaker. Now you can see I've opened this glass breaker. Uh, this is a Texacom glass breaker um, grade two. Um, you can use it for Texacom panel, also you can use it for any panels, um, as long as you get your resistor value correct. Um, this can work with any panels. Um, just going to explain how these uh, terminals work. Now you can see that I'm using uh, four wires. Um, I'm using blue, yellow, um, red and black. Now red and black is obvious, I'm going to use them, um, I'm using them for power. Uh, so that provides 12 volts power from the panel. And then I've got the blue and I've got uh, yellow. Uh, yellow is what I'm using for my uh, circuit, um, which is a um, tamper circuit. Um, so I'm using yellow and then blue is what I'm using for relay or alarm. Um, so it's only four wires requires. Um, then I need to close this circuit while I'm using, since I'm connecting this one to a Texacom panel, I've got to use resistors and alarm resistor would be well, 4.7K and and the tamper resistor would be 2.2K. Now I've got another tutorial explaining how the circuit works, um, but as far as the wiring is concerned, we only need four wires. Um, pretty standard, we use blue, yellow, uh, red, and black, red and black for power. And um, blue is for the relay, read, or switch circuit. And, and, and um, yellow is for tamper circuit. Uh, now you can see this is a Texacom panel. Um, I've got zone one, zone two, um, zone three, and zone five, six, and seven. And um, then it goes, the last one will be eight. Um, Obviously, you can, you can connect uh, expanded to this panel, then you can connect extra zones. Um, so, previously, so I have wired the um, glass breaker. Um, on this one, we're going to then wire this one back to the panel. Um, so, as far as the panel is concerned, uh, when you want to wire it to, for example, say zone one, um, the wires will go in between this terminal and this terminal. So, uh, for a zone, you have four terminals, two for alarm, it says A, and two for tamper. So when you, when you want to wire them um, according to end-of-line wiring using resistors, uh, which is pretty much standard now, uh, any panel which is more than grade two, it's got to be option B, it's got to be end-of-line. Um, now, the alarm cable will go here, and the tamper cable will go there. And this is where you get your auxiliary. 12 volt power, uh, which will then power uh, any devices such as you know, glass uh, breaker or PARs or anything. So there's four wires. One goes here, which is your alarm cable, and the tamper cable goes here, and the power plus and minus simply red and, and black. You could now see that I've wired the glass breaker uh, to zone one. Also, also wired the auxiliary. So that um, gives the 12 volt power to the glass breaker. What I'm going to do now is I'm just going to test this glass breaker. You can now see the glass breaker is working and that would trigger the alarm. Thank you for watching this video tutorial. I believe you um, enjoyed this video tutorial. We run alarm installation um, training programs, which is three days hands-on experience programs. Also, we run CCTV installation and access control, um, and then again, fire alarm installation programs. Um, we are fully approved by NCFE, um, and um, for the CCTV installation course, um, you will get a certificate, which is level three, and um, there are a lot of carry opportunities for these programs. So if you want to know more about these programs or more about ourselves, uh, please log in to www.cctvdvrsystem.co.uk. Uh, you could see this web website address at um, the bottom of this um, screen. Um, also, you could give us a call back on 0333-006-4005, which is 0333-006-4005. 
Thank you for watching our tutorial. Bye-bye.